about two idiots played by these two us, idiots. Uh, one of whom works for the council and one of whom works in the building but isn't employed by the council as a mailman and we get embroiled in a, a kind of huge high stakes criminal conspiracy and much hilarity ensues. Our reason for calling it the wrong man's was to, 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 give, to, to let you know that this is a comedy show really, like that if it was the drama it would be called the wrong man and it, because it's Matt's character who uh, witnesses a car crash and finds a mobile phone ringing at the side of the road and answers it and someone says if you're not here by five o'clock we will kill her and that's sort of the start of the show really and that's it, that's everything else and, and my character sort of just hijacks the ride and comes along and so it really should just be the wrong man and Sam's journey but Phil Joyney makes them the wrong mans and we just think it's a fun title. I think uh, you know in the look of the show and the execution of the show it is a drama action thriller genre show it just so happens that these two idiots are stuck in the middle of it I mean the actors play by playing them are not idiots the characters are idiots um, it's very kind of you thank you I just that. wanted to point out the distinction um, I don't think you're idiots at all um, but yeah the, the, it's, it's a so it's by genre it's an action drama thriller but it's also this comedy because these two guys are dealing with these very real circumstances and dealing with it in a way not too dissimilar from what you imagine uh, you know, the person watching at home might deal with it. Mm. I think we realised while we were writing it um, that it wouldn't work as a comedy if it didn't work as a thriller. Yeah. And we couldn't just get away with jokes and, and sort of buffoonery without the stakes really genuinely feeling high and also the kind of mistakes they're making feeling like mistakes that, that as, as you say, that you might sort of watching it thinking, right, well, I would call the police. And so they do try to call the police and you kind of work through all of those, what would I do in this situation kind of moments. Mm. Yeah, it's like the opposite of Jason Bourne knowing instinctively what to do when you know, he's stuck in a cell with a policeman. He knows immediately how to disarm this guy, get the key off him, get out of the cell, go and, you know, hotwire a car, get in the car. You know, uh, this is the opposite of that. They're in the same situations that he's in, but they're and going... The same, and the stakes are as high. Yeah, but they're going, right, if you distract him, I'll try and pickpocket... You know, it's like what the, what the guy at home mm. might, might try and do. And so that's where the, 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 the comic side of the show comes from. It comes from the reality of them trying to deal with it. Matt actually said on the plane on the way here today that he never wanted to see another multi-card index card <laughs> in his Ooh. life again, quote unquote. Oh, How no. was it for you guys, the writing process? Yeah, well, well what, the it's thing funny you say that. Because when we started <laughs> talking about it, we said, well, I wonder why no one's really made a comedy. Why well, no one's really made a comedy where the stakes are that high and the story's that big and the plot is that thick that you get in those sort of American box set shows. And then um, we started writing it and realised why no one does that, which is that plot and comedy, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's not that they're enemies, but they, they take a bit of time to gel, you know. And um, so what we had to do, because there's, a, there's very much, a, you know, a, an arc that goes through the series, we had to really get all of that right. That had to be completely clear and had to work as a drama. And then it was a matter of then going, well, what can we do that's funny here? And the truth is like, a lot of our, what, what we considered like our biggest ideas, um, or not biggest, but just some of our ideas that, you know, had to, had to inevitably fall by the wayside really, things that we really thought could be great because like, 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 like we said, if you, if, you, if you step out of the show too much, if you go, well, that wouldn't, that would happen. And also, you, you know, there's only so much time, you know, the episodes are, what, 28 and a half minutes mm -hmm. long, and you've, you've really got to fulfil those plot demands on it, you know? It has the same amount of plot in it as an hour-long, classic hour-long drama serial episode would have in it. And, uh, you know, my hat's off to these guys, because what they've managed to do is write half-hour episodes, um, because it is a comedy. You is know, that why you're not wearing your hat? 
That is why I'm right. not. <laughs> I, did, I did think it was odd. That I didn't right. even bring it in. Yeah, it's I already did. I off thought, to you. I thought, why hasn't yeah. Jim got his hat on? Yeah, He's always bring wearing it. his hat. Yeah, it's funny right. you left it this long to tell us why. I took it off this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I took it off this morning in readiness to say to you. It's only once you right. got into the middle mm. of the edit you thought... My hat gonna... wasn't even on yeah. right. to you guys. <laughs> That's how much it was off to us. I didn't even put my hat on to these guys. Yeah. That's. I sold my hat in deference to your writing skills. Yeah. To, to fit an, an hour of plot into, into a half hour comedy and for it still to be funny and still to hit all those big sort of set pieces and stuff. It is, it is really challenging and I know these guys really struggle with it but I think some of the best material comes from, from really digging down and, and, and Solving, you know, the best material comes from problems. I find most yeah. of the time, you know, and, and thank God for that. And people often <laughs> say, you know, a, a lot of people on on the feature side say it's it's good to write an ending first, create a really great ending, and then figure out how to get to that ending. And I think there's a little bit of that in this show of of knowing where it started mm. and knowing roughly where you wanted these guys to end up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was making them jump through all those hoops in between. You know, and uh, you know, jumping off bridges and jumping onto cars and firing guns and jumping onto moving trains and yeah. you know, helicopters and the whole thing. Running them through that obstacle course is where the fun of the show is, and it may have been challenging, but uh, I think uh, I think I think it worked out really well from from a, from a script point of view. Yeah, we we always thought of it as a TV series for the for the reason that, um, you know, we uh, it, that we wanted to. Uh, you know, we wanted to try and make a, a a a sitcom that that would have those cliffhangers that you get at the end of the the biggest and best dramas, which are all shows that mm -hmm. we love. Those American shows, you know, Breaking Bad and Twenty Four, and and those shows where at the end where one finishes and you go, well, we have to watch the next one. And, and so that that was the challenge, really, mm -hmm. wasn't it? it? I think if we'd have made it as a film, then I think it would have been good. But uh, you know the the challenge of, of of running to a point where you go well I have to watch what's next week, and then running to a point where you go well I, well, I have to I, oh my god I can't wait to watch the next one. That was the the challenge mm. of the show really. We've been here about half an hour. I, but I've already but had an amazing dessert. Lovely. Yeah, we had a really incredible sort of salted caramel kind of profile. Unbelievable. Mm. I mean, custom, it'll be hard for the rest of the day to beat that. It's like a custard. It wasn't even like it's like a like a, like a caramel. Or something, yeah, yeah, like a mm. caramel crusted it, it custard was in a serious. like a show pastry. It was thing like with oh yeah, I mean really like a mm. suicide bomb to the heart. Yeah, that's what it felt like. But mm. that I'll be amazed if anything comes close to the experience of that one for the rest of my life. life. <laughs> <laughs>